Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure and deploy a Mudrex automated crypto trading bot on the Binance Futures platform. Now, if you're not familiar with Mudrex, it is a crypto trading platform that allows you to create your own automated crypto trading bot strategies. I currently have three strategies deployed that I actually created on the platform, my Ichi Cross, the Recon Bowl and the Engulfing Toro. Now the Ichi Cross has been deployed for a couple months now and it's doing all right. The Recon Bowl I deployed about a month ago and it's holding its own. And then the Engulfing Toro I deployed about uh, two weeks ago and so far it's winning the battle. Now if you don't want to create your own strategies like I do, you can actually invest in other people's strategies. I do suggest you do your own recon on that. Now, before we get too far into the weeds, a quick look at what minimum investment you would have to make to get started. You can actually start for free. Zero dollars gets you going and you can actually deploy the bot like I will be deploying today. Now, for an extra $16 a month, you will get a one month free trial. You get unlimited back testing and I will actually leave a link in the description down below. And by using that link, you'll get $25 sign up bonus that you can actually apply towards this $16. $16 monthly fee so you'll get one month free plus $25 bonus will get you another month and a half so you could actually be going for about two and a half months for free on the platform and that ought to give you enough time to decide whether or not it's going to work for you now that's enough jaw jacking let's get to configuring this bot so the first thing I need to do once I'm logged in I need to jump over to strategies and I'm going to create a new strategy and I'm going to create that strategy through the visual editor and this is the visual editor dashboard and the strategy I'm going to deploy is very similar to my Ichimoku cloud crossing strategy so I'm going to drag over the compare blocks for buy and sell and drop those blocks on the visual editor and then I will connect one to buy and I will connect the other one to sell and then I'm going to configure my buy block first and I just click on the pencil and this is going to be Ichi and I want the Ichimoku cloud and same thing here it's going to be the Ichimoku cloud and what I'm looking for is the conversion line crossing up through the baseline and then my parameters are going to be the Ichimoku lines and I need to adjust the advanced parameters and my conversion period will be 18 my base period will be 52 and then my leading span A will be 52 my leading span B will be 104 and then my lagging span will be 30 and so I want the same settings on the baseline as well so it's just 18 52 52, 104, and 30. And that's pretty much it for the settings on the buy block. So I'll click OK. And then I click on the line connecting the buy block to the actual buy button and click on the pencil. And I want open long position. And that's all I want it to do. Now, time to set up the sell side. The sell side is actually going to be the same as the buy side. So again, I'm just looking at the Ichimoku cloud to compare to one another. Conversion line, instead of crossing up, is going to be crossing down through the baseline. And if you want to see what that actually looks like on a chart, I will jump over to trading view. And since I will be deploying this bot on Binance Futures on the one hour ETH, USDT I can show you right here what that ends up looking like and you can see right back here the blue line on the chart is a conversion line and the yellow line is the baseline and when this conversion line crosses up that indicates that the trend is now moving up and this would be your entry or your buy order which happens on this candle here. And then it will follow the price action until it starts to roll over and then eventually cross down through. And so it would have exited on this candle here for a profit. And you can see again it crosses. You'd get in 
and now it's following the price of ETH up. And until that price rolls over, you will stay in the position. I've had a lot of success with this strategy. However, you need to do your own recon. This is not a how to copy my strategy. This is how to set up. So if you copy my strategy and take a few losses and you have no clue why that's happening, that's on you for not doing your recon. So with that being said, let's continue with the configuration. So now I want the conversion line crossing down through the baseline. The parameters are the same. My advanced parameters, I need to adjust just like the buy parameters. So it's 18, 52, 52. And I've had a few people message me that they've tweaked certain parts of this and have had even better success. So don't copy me, do your own thing. Uh, 104 and 30, 18, 52, 52, 104, 30, click OK. And again, I'm going to click on this line here so I can edit this. And we're not opening short positions. I'm going to do long only on Binance Futures. And I don't want to reverse open long to short. I just want it to close a long position. And I click OK. And then the last box I'm going to fill in will be the stop loss. And I've done a ton of back testing on this strategy. And I found that about a 10.49% stop loss works the best for my strategy. So I fill that in. I'm not going to complete the take profit box. I haven't been able to find a sweet spot for that. It actually works far better just letting the Ichimoku cloud baseline conversion lines cross each other and close out the position. So that's it as far as configuring the blocks. And so the last thing I need to do before I save is name it and we'll go Ichi X Biff. So the Biff just indicates it's Binance Futures. And so I'll click save. And apparently I already have a strategy with that name. So we'll throw ETH in there as well since that's what I will be trading. And that worked. So now we just click on back test. And choose my exchange. The exchange will be Binance Futures. The market or my quote currency will be USDT. And I'll be trading ETH perpetual contracts and we'll give it a shot on the one hour which i happen to know works the best and long only and we'll start that back test and so the back test is running and we'll have some results here in a moment and you can see the results are 20 percent monthly average returns with loss making months of 33.33 percent and the performance score is not good not bad it's average at a seven and so we'll click on the little actions box and this will give me more details and a breakout of the results of the back test. And so it used a leverage of 1x, you can see right here, and I'm going to bump that up here in a moment. And this back test was from December 2019 to 2021. So there's a lot of variety during that time frame. And we almost kept up with the market. However, I know why we didn't, and that's because of the current bull run. It's it's pretty difficult for a bot to outperform a bull run like we're seeing right now. Doesn't mean you can't keep up, and it certainly kept up, but it certainly isn't outperforming them. Now, one way to outperform it is to add some leverage. Now, before we go down that rabbit hole, you need to understand what leverage and margin does to your account. If you don't understand how that works, you probably shouldn't be trading with leverage or futures contracts. If you don't understand liquidation, all of those terms, you need to do a lot more recon before you deploy a bot with leverage. And that first bot you do deploy, I certainly hope you don't decide to deploy that bot with 100x leverage because you look at the profits, you're going to get killed. So with that all being said, I want to narrow down the backtest time frame to three months. I'm more interested in how this bot performed in current market conditions. But with that being said, I'm going to bump the leverage up to 4x. That's a very safe level for my strategies. The most I would ever do is 9x, but... Rarely do I cross the 5x threshold, and in this case, I'm right up against it with 4x. 
So now I'm going to recalculate based on three month time period and Forex leverage. And you can see my performance score improved to an eight. Now during that three month period, you're looking at overall returns of my bot with that leverage would be 10,000% versus the market had you just bought and held of almost 300%. Don't get suckered in with this percentage here. Back test results do not guarantee future results. You could get liquidated and be out of the battle right away and never achieve these numbers. So don't get suckered in by these great numbers. My max drawdown was 39%. Now, if you can't stomach almost a 40% drawdown, this bot isn't for you. Over a three month period, I saw 21 trades. That's only about seven trades a month. So you action junkies who are messaging me, my bot hasn't done anything in a day. Well, it might not do anything in a week. The idea is not how many trades you take, it's maximizing the profit on the trades you do take. Uh, sharp ratio, which is a measurement of risk, is pretty high. It's 7.77. I always shoot for a number over two. This is starting to get to a point where maybe I'm not taking enough risk. My profit factor is greater than 10. Again, I shoot for a number over two. This bot would have had a winning streak of eight and a losing streak of three. Again, if you can't stomach three losses in a row, this bot's not going to be for you. Trades won with 66%. And we can drop down and look at more numbers. Now, a number I'm really interested in is my average loss versus my average profit. That will kind of tell me a risk versus reward. And I'm getting right around a one to six risk versus reward. That would be acceptable for me. Again, I typically shoot for a one to three, but because I'm using leverage, I would want that number to be at least double and we're right there in that zone. And if we scroll down, we can look at some of the trades and you can see how Moodrex actually does compounding on your profits. So we started with $100 and you can see that grows in the investment amount as you pro as your profit grows. By January 13, our investment in this position was $1,800 versus 98 on our first investment. And if you're concerned about getting liquidated because these numbers are going up substantially and your account perhaps doesn't have the margin to cover that call, there's some simple math that you can run on these numbers to give you an idea of what you can expect. So what I'll do is we'll jump over to Binance real quick. And they actually have a calculator over here on the right hand side that will allow you to kind of figure liquidation price. So I'm going to do isolated as far as my leverage. And then I'm going to drop this down to match my four. And I'm only doing long. And let's look at that transaction back on Mudrex. So my entry price was 1664. So we plug that in over here in the calculator. And then the amount of ETH contracts we were able to buy was 18 and a half. And then my balance would represent this 7698. So when I plug the 7698 in and hit calculate, the liquidation price would be at 1255. I have a stop loss in place of about 10 and a half percent. This figure versus this figure is about a 25% difference. So the price drops about 25% from here to get you liquidated. By having a 10.5% stop loss, that can help prevent you from getting liquidated, depending on how much leverage you put on on the balance in your account. Now, this was just a real rough example because I do get so many questions about liquidation and I'm not able to answer those in detail without knowing a lot more about your account, the amount of leverage you're doing, all these factors. And rather than asking me, just go to Binance and use their calculator and do your recon. So hopefully that wraps your head around how leverage would actually work once your balance in your account starts to grow. And even though Mudrex is reinvesting that balance. Now, if you want to avoid this compounding factor, then all you need to do is stop the bot anywhere along this route and then redeploy the bot with, say, the $100 setting and start over. But for me and my personal risk tolerance, I like the fact of this compounding. That's what I'm looking for out of a bot. So now we've done our back testing. We're ready to deploy the bot.
and I'm not going to run a bunch of different back tests. I've already done all that recon. I know this is the sweet spot for this strategy. I do highly recommend you back test all those different time frames. And before you deploy the bot live, it's probably not a bad idea to do paper trades. Now, I prefer live fire. Uh, paper trades assume the best. It assumes you're always going to get the best entry and the best exit. Paper trading is a valuable tool. But for me, I've done my share of paper trading. So I'm going straight to live fire. And it's going to be on the exchange of Binance Futures. The USDT is going to be my quote currency with the ETH perpetual contracts, one hour tick interval, long only, and then I need to set my leverage at four. And then click on start live trade. And then it shows my it shows my available balance is $613. And I'm gonna deploy this bot with $300. And you wanna select the correct API key. Now for me, it the only one I have for Binance Futures is my BIF. Now if you haven't set up your API keys, you just need to go to your user icon over here and jump over to Exchange API Keys. And from there, you can see I have Binance, Binance Futures. You just need to add the key, select the exchange, name the key. It will show you what you actually need to do step by step. And the big step that's actually a little different from just copy and pasting your API and your secret key is you want to enable the Futures choice. So enable Read Only, enable Trading, and enable Futures. And then you would copy and paste your keys in and then click add keys. Now I've already done that, so we're good to go there. I've got my API keys. I got my dollar amount. If we jump back over to my home dashboard, you'll see that the Ichi X Biff ETH with the $300 investment is now live. Now I will be doing an update video as far as profit or loss on this particular bot. So now would be an excellent time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. I will leave a link to Moodrex in the description down below. Remember you get a $25 free sign up bonus when you use that link. And until next time, remember, never send your money in the battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.